Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we'll be discussing the basic difference between data mining and data science. Now understand one thing guys, most of the concepts that are used in data mining is already overlapped with data science. So people usually find it much more confusing in order to understand the basic difference between data mining and data science. So we'll try to clarify that particular doubt over here. And trust me, this was one of the most requested video by many of our subscribers. So let's go ahead and try to understand what is the basic difference between data mining versus data science? So to begin with guys, we'll try to understand what is data mining. So data mining is the process of discovering patterns in large structured data sets involving methods at the intersection of machine learning statistics and database system. The data that we usually consider are structured data and are usually used in size. So if, we, if, if in short, if I try to explain what exactly is data mining, first of all, we need to begin with the data warehouse. In data warehouse, we have huge amount of data collected from multiple sources. And then if you want to find out patterns in that pool of data, we basically use data mining. Now, what are kinds of patterns we can use? And this pattern, you know, you will also be seeing in machine learning algorithms because all the algorithms that we use, like supervised, unsupervised machine learning algorithm, they try to find out patterns in the data itself. So we, as we go ahead, we'll try to understand more things with respect to this. So what is data science? I hope everybody's pretty much familiar with data science. So let me just describe with a few liner over here. So data science is a field of study which includes big data analytics, data mining, predictive modeling, data visualization, mathematics and statistics. It uses techniques and theories drawn from many fields within the context of math, statistics, computer science, and information science. Now guys, uh, if you see the diagram in the left hand side, you can see that there is also something called a statistics and data mining over here okay uh, and then we also have research we have domain expertise we have analytic systems we have programming skills and algorithms and these all are converging towards and the main converging point is towards data science so data science in short uses all the techniques that are involved along with big data domain expertise statistics and data mining are also pretty much important so most of the machine learning algorithms that we basically apply like classification and regression algorithms involves statistics and data mining itself. As you can also see that statistics, data mining, and algorithms are also converging at some specific point. So let's go ahead with the next slide. We'll try to understand the basic difference between data mining and data science based on these all points that I have noted on the right-hand side. One is definition, why is it used, what is the final goal, what kind of data is used, process in data mining and data science, and conclusion. In When we'll go to the process in data mining and data science, you'll try to understand that how similar the process is with respect to the kind of data science projects that we do. So let's go ahead and try to understand the definition. So data mining is the process of discovering patterns in large data sets involved methods, uh, involving methods at the intersection of machine learning, statistics, and da database system. So here you can see that based on this particular diagram, in, in this specific statistics and data mining, it is all about discovering patterns you know, in the larger data set. Data mining is used in data science. It's clearly mentioned in the second point that yes, data mining is a part of data science. Let us see some of the example, identifying trends and patterns from the past data. Okay, you have a historical data in your data warehouse and you're trying to find out patterns. And that pattern may also be helpful for you to predicting the future patterns. And that is what your machine learning algorithm does. I'm not saying that data mining and machine learning algorithm are one and the same. Some of the functionalities do converge. So let's go ahead. Why is it used? Okay, so the main goal of a data mining is to make the efficient use of historical structured data to identify trends and patterns so that the future trend or pattern can be identified. It is an important step in knowledge discovery process. You should understand this terminology, guys. Knowledge discovery process. The end goal of a data mining is basically to understand this knowledge discovery process. You know, let's let's see an example. Suppose an example is that I need to identify the pattern of the sales of a sweet shop, right? In festivals. So usually if you know about the sweet shops that are open in market, during the festival season, they sell a lot. And suppose we want to predict, you want to identify patterns, suppose in this Diwali, from the past eight years, whenever the festivals are there, what kind of patterns uh, were the sales basically with respect to the sweets that were sold in those shops? So we can identify those patterns. Whereas uh, data science derives insight from both the structured and unstructured data. It is very much common, uh, it is very much important to see this definition, guys. Okay, from both structured and unstructured data. 
over here i told you only structured data right the main goal of the data science is to come up with insights that will help an organization to take proper decision so the final goal okay when when i'm considering um, data science is actually to make a proper decision it is it is a decision making process altogether the best example of a use case what we can say is that what is the procurement of raw materials required by logistic company in the third quarter so su suppose you are working in a company where lipton tea is actually sold and suppose you want a raw material of tea crops at that time your logistic team should be able to procure enough amount of tea crops so that you know the production process continues on right if you run out of the raw materials then it is very difficult for you right so here you are able to make a decision right based on the insights that are derived from both the structure and structured data definitely data mining will be used within this okay so in short i can also consider that data mining is a subset of data science itself now let us go ahead and try to see the next slide the next point that about data mining is that data mining only deals with modeling finding patterns or predicting outcomes while data cleanup is also part of the process and data mining does not deal with the processing of massive unstructured data sets it does not deal with right we already have a pre-processing steps in data science right so data science is a roughly combination of math statistics computer science that deals with etl of structure and structure data modeling and presenting it to get insights so this is pretty much important to understand the basic difference over here it does not deal with the processing of massive unstructured data sets here we are since we are using etl you know so because of that we are actually using structure and structure data sets modeling and presenting it to get insights so definitely this modeling part probably it may be because of data mining it may be because of machine learning algorithms that we are using right so let's go ahead and try to see what are the process involved in data mining and data science so in data mining we start with data integration so we have a data warehouse where multiple data sources are combined then we do data cleaning data selection data transformation we know this right data cleaning handling missing values handling bad data right data selection is that how much data we require what are the kind of data will be requiring for doing the data mining data transformation uh, then we have data mining extracting useful data from the existing data so from the pool of data we're trying to find out the useful data and then we are trying to find out the patterns okay finally you can see that there is a knowledge discovery right knowledge discovery and representation is given to the user in the form of graphs and tables and some visualization diagram this is pretty much important now if i go to data science you have data extraction data pre-processing creating models optimizing model deployment of model and creating visualization reports one thing you can note guys this data cleaning data selection data transformation is a part of data pre-processing and uh, you can consider that when we are creating models, right? We are basically using machine learning algorithms. And machine learning algorithms, you have both supervised and unsupervised machine learning algorithms, right? You you try to solve classification regression problem statements by using different different algorithms like logistic regression, decision tree regressor, logistic uh, decision tree classifier, random forest regressor, random forest uh, classifier, and many more, right? So here in this particular step. You know, and you can see that this data cleaning, data selection, data transformation is getting captured in data pre-processing. So this is overlapping, right? So these are all techniques along with data mining and pattern evaluation. So if I consider about data mining and pattern evaluation, it may be getting used in the machine learning algorithms, right? So machine learning algorithms can, you can say that data mining is a part of that, you know? So all these three, uh, two, three, four, five, six steps is basically combined in two and three in data science. So internally, this is getting reused over here. So if I specifically want to say, but in data science, you understand that we start with the data extraction process, right? And over here, we'll be having big data. We'll be having different type of data sets. So over here, we'll be having different type of databases, both SQL and NoSQL databases. You know, it may be having big data and many more things. So after you do this, you then optimize your model, then you deploy a model, and finally you create a visualization reports. So definitely we can say that most of the steps that are involved in data mining is already present in data science. So nowadays people are just focusing more on data science because data mining previously, when there was a large demand of data warehouse where organization were collecting a huge amount of data at that time data mining was pretty much famous but now with the help of data science since most of the concepts that are involved in data mining is already integrated in most of the steps in data science so data science is becoming much more popular right so let's go to the next slide 
The final conclusion we can say is that data mining is an activity which is a part of broader knowledge discovery in databases process while data science is a field of study just like mathematics or applied mathematics or computer science. Most of the process such as statistical analysis, pa pattern recognition intersect with data science techniques. You can see this diagram on the right hand side. So finally we can consider that data mining is a subset of data science. Data mining is definitely getting used in machine learning algorithms. You know where we are actually trying to find out the patterns but yes there is a minor difference so i hope you like this particular video guys please do subscribe to the channel share with all your friends whoever require this kind of help and yes we are pretty much near to 200k subscribers please do subscribe to the channel share with all your friends guys i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one and all bye bye